and welcome to that Double D team. I'm D. And if you don't know, you should know it's your boy JD. And we are back once again. And we're continuing our Marvel Netflix series. Today we're going to be doing Daredevil Season 2. No one like for me, this is like a second, like a very good second season compared to like all the second seasons of all the shows that I've seen because from the first season where We've seen the uh, development of of Matt, and not, but not just from like him as a lawyer, but as uh, the Daredevil as well. His origin story. The origin story in that. So like this one was like a very good um, season to kick off with, as in like he's getting his um, he's getting like um, more control of his senses now. It seems stronger than they were from like the end of the last season. So it's like starting to get like at the peak of his powers. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's definitely taking the role more seriously as well. He's understanding a lot more because he was having a bit of um confidence crisis in the first one as well yeah. especially when you had that conversation with Claire um, and obviously hiding all this stuff from Foggy mm. and now this season with Karen as well but yeah I mean season two as you said they usually go big or bright or more money and throw everything at it um, but with this one I don't think they did that but they did introduce um, two new main characters kind of split the season into two arcs as you'll come to see in yeah. the Marvel Netflix um, universe and we had the introduction of Punisher yeah. and Electro Lecture. two really big yeah, devil characters in the comics and the franchise law so i was um, extremely happy to see these but not only that i mean a lot of young is really good but mm. john burnfall he's the star of the season for Shane. me he sh he's From shown like Death. a star what in john. Oh. Mm. a good thing about this as well like um with electra and the punisher was that if you compare them to like um that the films the punisher films and that like those films were so poor. It's, chalk and cheese, it's sort of like, chalk and yeah, cheese. well, if you think of like, you know, Daredevil, Ben Affleck and that, and then you had like, um, you had two Punisher films. Yeah, and, and the Electra. The balls films, yeah, all those, all those three characters, all their three films pretty much, they were crap compared to your, on, on, based on your opinion. But like, in the TV show, they're all like really, really good characters. Mm. Very, like, believable. Some of them are pretty much relatable. But uh, yeah, those three characters, man, they're just like, Highlight. coming back now, the highlights. Burnthal, man, just oh, stole this. Not, not, not just a short, the whole season for me. Yeah. Speaking of him, though, we'll start the season out. Yeah. Um, we get introduced to the Punisher. Um, we don't know who it is at the moment. We just start the season off with a lot of gangs being taken out. And um, we're thinking. Yeah, it was the Irish that got took out first. Yeah, well, a lot of the Irish gangs, yeah. I think one still just survives, and the Italians mm. and everyone. Everyone that's done harm or killed innocents on the street have been getting taken out. <laughs> one guy survived, and he's telling his story to the cops. And I like, so how many, how was it? What gang was it? Who was it? It's like, no, no, no. One guy. It was just one guy. Yeah. They're like, what? Because that's how, like, um, all these men. Yeah, that's how, and Foggy found out, because first he goes, like, at first I heard about the army, now I'm only hearing about one guy. What's going on here, man? What's, what's, the, what's the crack? And that one guy is the Punish badass you. himself. Yeah, one man machine. One so man crank. He's, he's going around, he's taking all these guys out. Obviously, Foggy clocked on from the news mm. in the case. Um, Matt finds out, so he uses that with um, his daredevil alter ego to try and confront him and find him down. And this is where we come to you, the first meeting that they have on the rooftop. And this... <coughs> the dialogue between them two. Yeah, well, the before, before it even happens, because this is the first meeting, they've not got a chance to talk. Yeah. And um, they have a little scuffle, a little fight, and then Punisher draws a gun. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pops Matt daredevil in the head, my man is falls backwards off the building oh. you're thinking yo this is episode one how, how have you just shot the main hero protagonist in the head clean in the head as well man yeah. straight headshot because yo, you're thinking it's going to be a fist fight <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so that was sick the episode ends and you come back next um next episode and matt's he's recovering now in it from um some of the blows and yeah that. but he went deaf as well didn't yeah. he so the gunshot yeah. sounds too close to his when ears I and that, when I first affects saw that. a deaf person extremely mm. harsh. When I first saw that, I thought like uh, his deafness would last a lot, a lot longer than it did in the, in the episode. Because I thought like, oh my god, he's going to go deaf. I think it was just like an after effect, it's kind yeah. of like a concussion. I figured that out afterwards, like it was just from the, from the gunshot, but I thought like, oh shit, like, he might be deaf for like a, a while, longer than he was in the, in the, in the, show, in the episode, but yeah, it was just like a mad, a mad black experience for me, thinking like, yo, he's, he's blind and deaf now, so what's he going to do? So um, he's recovering now, um, but Frank's, Frank Castle, Punisher, he's figured out like who the next target is that he's going to go to, but Matt's already on this as well, mm. because he realises that there's probably only a few gangs left in town that he can actually, um, he can go after. So he finds out another rooftop meeting, 
and this time you have much more of a fight but he comes prepared Punisher and he ties Daredevil up with um, some chains on the roof and this is where you get the monologue and the monologue between these two characters with their ideology is about both trying to clear the city of um, villains, villains and bad and guys and that stuff, right? but Matt wants to arrest them and they go through the law with the lawyer and the good guy that he is and Punisher's just like no nope, I want kill to kill him off and take him out so it's two opposing views both trying to go for the right answer so, yeah. but yeah, that- so it's, it's just fun you can see you with Frank when he's saying this stuff then Daredevil's trying to persuade him you're like I see your point it's understandable yes I think like during that conversation as well like um, Daredevil did seem a little bit hypocr- hypocritical at some of the things he was talking about because remember like one one line was saying like um, you can't go out and do all these things that like, no one's making you do them and, he, and then Frank Castle calls around and says like well is anyone asking you to put on that suit and go out and beat people up on that Daredevil's technically so, the vigilante yeah. of Hell's Kitchen yeah the devil of Hell's Kitchen himself but he can wear that mantle because he knows deep down in the end he's doing good at the Catholic mm. roots and yeah, they're double season three. That's what you do. I'm really excited for it and I won't watch it now. Oh. Yeah. But, um, like, but so they're having their little conversation on the roof and then um, they're interrupted by some guy and then Frank's gonna wants to take care of it. Obviously they has been chatting to him, Matt's mm. been chatting to him like don't you don't need to kill people, especially innocents. So we don't need to, but he was he was to come on the, out on the roof and see the sniper rifle set up and Daredevil teamed up then yeah, that no choice of expendable mm. so yeah but then he starts chatting to him about who's the next vet or uh, our next part and so there's like that connection between them two so for okay then he knows uh, what I mean, you're military about military core type yeah. of them so they're just having a little conversation Simplifying. slight bit of respect manages to quell the situation the guy leaves Punisher gets back to his task takes out the bikers um, bikes motorcycles yeah they're uh, mad dogs of hell big explosion which kills them, um, blows up all the bikes, which is to draw the bikers out mm. so we can pick them off. But Daredevil manages to slip himself out, <laughs> stop Frank from doing this. Wasn't that like where he had the. Um, he's after that guy, isn't it? The um, guy who put um, Foggy and Finger pretend to protect as well. Yeah, because he was part of his gang, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, so he was one of the last ones. And Frank obviously wanted to take him out. But yeah, so obviously, situation's gone. Bikers realise where the shots are coming from, they're all going to charge out now into the building. Mm. Punisher's made his, made his escape in it. <laughs> they, they met. And then Daredevil's just left now in the building, trying to escape with all these bikers coming up the stairs. And this is where we get. And again, one of the best fight scenes. I, uh, hallway fight scene, one shot. Marvel, Netflix. With a gun taped to his hand. Mm. And this is different from season one yeah. where he was just getting into it and he was all out of breath and it's very realistic obviously he's still taking a wear of his hair on him but he's much more manageable proficient, yeah. and proficient with, it, with his moves that, yeah. Yeah, and, and the fact that he had to like, adapt as well without having the, chain, the gun tattoo to his hand and, and the chain in one hand as well so like he had to like adapt his movements with his um because obviously like i think he didn't, didn't, want, want, to, didn't want to kill anyone because mm. like punisher had taped it to him he's yeah. like you're not going to do anything with that you're not going to so you had, had to be careful you had to be careful with that gun but Oh, yeah. just that, again, it's so cool. Like how it's just the one shot. Just to hype, watch, watch out for these these one shot fights. And That's what I was gonna say, man. Like these one shot, these one shot fight scenes, man. Like just think of like how much practice goes into that. I didn't like to do it, to do it all in one go and look, look that good. And make it look realistic and physical. And, yeah, it's so. It's I so watch good, them. Man. I watch them kind of fight scenes like all day, man. All day, it's non-stop. It's sick. Because not only is it good, it's choreographed, but it's good. But it's it does look realistic. Yeah, it's, it's not visceral. like yeah. Very visceral. Makes it feel like he actually like you're there. Because like, the mats are brawler. Yeah. Whereas Jessica, she just uses power, so mm-hmm. it doesn't look as smooth or clean, but it's effective. Same with like Luke. He's not proficient in um, like an art of fighting. He's just like a he's just strong. Force. Whereas when you come to Iron Fist, he's a master of martial arts. Motion is <laughs> silky smooth for him and all that. So you get a variety. He's like water. Bruce Lee style. So watch, yeah. watch out for the defenders. Um, fight scene for that. Yeah, man. That's really good. But yeah, so um. Matt manages to find his, his way out of there now, but the um this is where the new setup comes now with the the Irish gang, and they uh, they capture Frank, don't they? And mm. um, Frank obviously tries to shoot his, his way out, but they taser him, manage to put him in a van and take him, and he has some um some conversation now with like, the leader of the Irish gang, and he's um threatening Frank like yo you need to tell me where, where, where my is money is, maybe yeah. you stole from me, I mean I need that. Do you know that um with the money was that um because at the start of the season he he, he cut with the guy's hand, hands up in there. Or when the guys left, had a hand missing, so I I thought that was like a like a hand cold or handprint to not unlock the money or something like that. 
Because right. there's always like um, <laughs> I've seen like, Nah, seriously There's like um, In one of the episodes One guy has like um, His arm cut off From like um, With an Irish gang And it's missing So I thought like Because I thought um, The money uh, wanted to, to unlock the like, Unlock the code To get the money or something I'm not too sure It could be But a lot of Marvel films And TV shows Do like to pay Reference and homage To um, Star Wars right, You know okay. with, um, The hand being chopped off In Star Wars Oh, yeah, okay. I think we mentioned this in a previous video as well, because like Claw in old Age of Ultron and stuff like yeah. that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. so it pops up in a lot of Marvel because a, a lot of Marvel directors, producers, showrunners are big Star Wars fans, so we like to pay homage where they can with chopping off everything. It just, just bugged me. I was like, why is his hand cut off? Why is it cut off? I'm not too sure. But, mm. but yeah, uh, so this is probably all Frank's setup as well, because he stashed the money in the van with a bomb. So he knew that he'd be caught. To, to someone to go and find it to set it up and so when he's speaking with the Irishman the Irishman's trying to tell him to, to tell him where it is but Frank's like no, no, I don't want to tell you anything blah blah and he's like if you don't I'm going to kill your dog like John, John Wick flashbacks yeah. like oh shit <laughs> so obviously Frank's like you're a monster are you like, you really kill a, a, an animal a helpless mm. you know it's Frank not a bit of heart he's an animal lover <laughs> so he's like alright okay don't kill a dog I'll tell you where it is man tells him Irishman calls his guy they go to pick it up Boom. Irish blood <laughs> all part of plan, mate. All part of Frank's plan. So yeah, at this point, as all he's managed to, he's been getting escapes out of his chair. Mm. Don't to start trying to, um, to beat down all the Irish goons. That headshot as well to, like, to the, um, the Irish boss who's, who's getting tortured by just like sh- sh- shotgun as well. Just headshot. Boom. Did he? Did he kill him? Was that him in the face? Oh right. Was that the boss though? Well, I'm not because sure it's the boss, but it was the guy who was like threatening him for the money. Right, because this is where... But he was like um, the boss of that particular group, I think. I don't, I might be someone higher up than him, but he was like the, the boss. Because this is where Daredevil turns up, innit? Yeah. And, and they were starting to fight, but I'm sure I thought Daredevil stopped Punisher from killing, because that, that was their whole, like, no, angle he... throughout this season, and, like, Punisher about to kill someone, mm. they was like, no, stop doing that. He starts throwing his no, billy clubs at him. He shot him twice. The billy it? clubs as well. Yeah, a nice but... introduction this season from the comics, having them little tools that were, <laughs> that were made by Melvin, his um, outfit designer. yeah. Yeah, cause I know that like, the Irish guy, the, the boss got shot twice in the back, and he was still alive. And like, um, Punisher gets the the shotgun and before. This is where before before Daredevil comes and he shoots him in the face with the shotgun. All oh, right, so and you then he comes them too late. Then yeah. he's obviously trying to stop from killing anyone else. Mm. Then they have their fight, but they've got to break out of um, the building where yeah. they've been held. But all the cops are around there. Yeah, but yeah, Punisher's had a beating because obviously he took a um, bit of a torture from all the Irish goons when he got there, and then the fight with Daredevil. So yeah, he's, he's limping out, Matt's carrying him out. So he just gives him to the cops. Like, Daredevil's yeah. the good guy, innit? So, yeah, my guy said, um, what's his name, Brett, got him for promotion. Yeah, Matt's Now, now he's got like, I think he's got like, um, you know, friends on the inside now, like in the, in the police force now, so like he knows he, he can trust him now to get more info out of him when that, you know, when shit goes down. So it's a nice touch there. Yeah. Uh, so Matt, Matt's obviously thought, right, this punish has been handed in, my boy, it's been done, I'm all good. I can't really be alienating too many of my friends <coughs> anymore. He wants to relieve mm. some of the stress. So he, he gets with Karen, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they have a nice little tender moment. They mm. kiss. So you think, all right, Matt's about to um, start a relationship with her. Everything's all good. Matt goes home. You see him there just smiling, thinking about <laughs> like, what his day's gone on. And all of a sudden, like, he realises oh, someone's in the room, and he mm. sends his kicking. It's like, what? I'll show you for a knife or something. <laughs> and he hears the, the voice of Electra. Hello, <sighs> the young. Mm. Very nice, too nice, man. Mm. Yeah, she's like him. That's just like a hitman's bodyguard. Hitman's bodyguard. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Then, man, she's like definitely like a, a interesting character for me to watch. Not because she's actually beautiful and things like that, but she's also like being trained by um, Stick. Yeah. So, like, I like to know like a more about her and now that I know more about a lot about Martin to know more about her now. So it's gonna be interesting to see, but like when she first turned up, straight away when there's the chemistry between them two, you knew like there was like something going on with between them in the past. Because in season Thanks. one, uh, Foggy did ask Matt like, "What have you ever said that crazy Spanish trick you did in college?" Yeah, and like yeah, so that was a nice sort of <laughs> reference to like to fans that knew as a little Easter egg. They're like, okay, will she pop up? When will she pop up? 
the yeah, season she does we get a flashback to how they they met in college mm. and how daredevil just uh, how matt couldn't resist her do something about it that was just alluring yeah, and that dangerous first, and that exciting first game, chat between them two like how he goes okay i, I know what you're like and then uh, you're just like you're going uh, to a party, a party and, uh, and yeah matt's like oh like, you like spending kind of broke money. college yeah where she seems to be like all posh and, and rich and so you knew that there was like opposites yeah, attract. the opposites attract. it was good man i loved i loved them kind of like the little monologues between so obviously as they grew close together and became a couple, <coughs> a lecturer wanted to help Matt out back in the day and she found the crime lord, crime boss who rigged the fight for Matt's oh, oh yeah. um, dad to lose. Oh yeah, what's his name? And um, so... What's go Sweeney? That's it. What's go. So she captures him and offers him to Matt on a plate like, mm. yeah, kill him, get, get revenge for your dad's death and all that, but Matt's got a conscience in it, he's got a moral compass and he don't want to kill, I mean, not an innocent person, but he don't want to kill anyone. Yeah, he wants to do it the right way, put him in let's, prison. Let's take him to law, yeah, and let him save his time, let the justice system deal with him. Mm. But yeah, Electra. Let's let him off. She's not even on of it, so she no. kills him. Like, no, this guy, so he doesn't, that, yeah, he hurt, he hurt <laughs> you, so I'm going to hurt him. Oh, it's just... And that's, I think that's the breaking point where Matt was like, you've got too much a bit of a, a bloodlust about you, that I can't, don't think we can be Especially the fact that he's, he's kind of infatuated with her. It's just like a drug in it. He's addicted. Mm, he can't so help. He can't help. Can't help himself like, around. Thirsty by it, man. Oh. So yeah, that's how they broke up back mm. in the day. Um, and this time around, obviously, she thinks, oh, she's changed. Matt can change her. They um they go out, don't they? Is it? They go to go to a little party. Yeah, because she showed him about um what was it? Something about she needs some files or something to get that Roxon Corporation because she has some files invested because oh, Roxon. Yeah, because she wants to like um. Have him as a, a lawyer first and like him trying to get well, into some she says she wanted him as yeah, a lawyer first but this is all part of her plan to get yeah. him to come along just so she could reveal like the truth about what's really going on mm. because whilst we're at the party when she's getting these files she gets attacked by is it the one of the hand the ninjas yeah and then obviously like they're dealing with it nice and as they can do because like they're proficient in combat but matt don't want to kill anyone and then when you take the hood off him and they really realize that oh, he's just a boy he's just a youngster mm. But now Electra's like, like we're in a war. Slice him up. Mm. Right in front of him as well. With a, with a smile on her face. Yeah. Matt's just looking at her like, yeah, I don't think that can change you. It's just like, when it, these kind of these kind of scenes, man, they always shock me. Because like, I, I always think like, okay, maybe like she's she she's going to change. And all of a sudden, I'm like, just psh, start the guy's neck. To go from like one extreme to the, to the other. It's just, it's a mad, mad thing to see. But I enjoy it, man. Mm. I love them kind of characters. Um, I think, but, was it from the information you got from the Rockstar Court, they find like some location where they need to go, it's like so what's been going on, there's like a lot of construction. Yeah. So they... But that's where they go to that, um, that is it like a warehouse or something where they find like that massive, massive hole. Massive hole. doesn't go, goes down. I like, loved how that, that's the only way she goes like, throw something down there. And Matt's trying to listen, ends. in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's not hearing, time. you can't hear it, like, well, that's, that's almost in type of it's core and type of shit, like, yo, what's... Must be a deep ass yeah, hole, man. That's actually... A little foreshadow for Defenders, the one you catch up. Okay. The one who's seen the shows, mm. you know that's actually where what you were leading towards. And um, so this is where she tries now to start trying to recruit Matt. Like, yo, this is, there's a war going on. The Hand, a Raftor, some stuff in this city. New York's yeah. in danger, and we need your help. And she's like, what do you mean we need, we need your help? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But then these um the ninjas. There's a massive ninja fight, which is one of what well, not a highlight, but it was one of the main really good, in the whole season, good enjoyment yeah. parts of the show and it's like a, a game change it's like it was integral to the story how that fight broke out because it meant something yeah Not just especially because where they were because these ninjas were um the way they fought matt couldn't really figure them out yeah because like the, 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 the oh, quite mistake, he usually no. likes to hear surroundings and sounds yeah. but these guys are silent and you did the way they adjusted the heartbeat or something that he couldn't really tell where they were. So he was kind of struggling in the surroundings compared to Electro. So they were they were kind of outnumbered, but you think they could handle it. But because Matt was kind of at a disadvantage now because these are like trained hand ninjas. Yeah. It was a bit bit tougher than usual. <laughs> but then who should come and save the day but man like Scott Glenn? <laughs> Stick himself, which is like a shot to Daredevil. Yeah, he's like, oh, I thought we'd, we'd left things how they were, especially after last season. I mean, killed the kid which we find out this season is just one of like six or seven mm. but yes yeah, so stick <laughs> saves the day but obviously uh they've taken a beating electra's hurt 
Got back to his gaff. Got to take it back to his gaff in it. Scott's there. Well, Scott Glenn sticks talking to to Matt. It's like, come on, Matty. You know, yeah, because he, he knows something's going on now. More I told you there was a war going on. on. Yeah, the hand. He's just, he, the guy's in denial. Mm. And that's and that's when uh, we're part of the chase mm -hmm. to help us and join our cause. And you know, that's why Electra came to do it. I told Electra not to come because I knew you're too soft and you wouldn't <laughs> do it. You know what I mean? And Matt's like, why, why did you recruit her? Though? She she wasn't part. You, know, you should have left her alone and stuff. But Scott's like, stick. Yeah. He's like, no, no, nah, she, she she gets it, man. She's a killer. I mean, I, I recruited that's her like just like I recruited you as a youngster, as a kid, trained you up for a purpose, or to eventually to come for this war. The war's now here. Lace up your boots, son. Yeah, you know I mean? man. Get, get some balls, man. It's, it's it, hard to crack it's, some It was balls, a really isn't it? good bit of like interaction between yeah. them two, like father and son, but master and pupil. Mm. And yeah, they're both. He wants to recruit both. Daredevil kind of wants to do the good thing, but he doesn't want Electra getting involved, but she already is involved. She's trying to recruit him. He reluctantly didn't want to, but he's been drawn in because of her, not because of Scott. So <laughs> the triangle was, mad, it was really good, man. It was like an extra little bit of um, topping on top. But then at this, as you're all getting involved in what's going on here, who should enter the door? Only his new little bit that he'd probably give the keys to. Or the That's like typical... Typical like some opera type shit, man. Because like, he knew that. I knew for a fact it would happen at some point. I just knew it. I was thinking, okay, then, okay, Karen, uh, when Dick goes, like, we've got company, straight away, it's Karen. Karen. Straight away, man. Match with the clock from there. Uh, isn't Perfume. It, isn't <laughs> it? The guy could have heard yeah. up from time, but, but he's but still nah. whipped from a lecture, all, all up in his bed, half naked, mm. and so Karen comes in, sees some random blind guy, like old guy that she doesn't know, sees Matt, like half beaten up, like just looking random, a girl in his bed. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? She's, she's like, yeah, I can see what's going mm. on. And just leaves. Just get, yeah, just get to out of the office, man, because like, um, yeah. Foggy needs you in so, a bit. So not only is he abandoned Foggy like, for work case to be mm. going with Electra, but now he's also been putting too much attention into Electra because he's been being played by her, so he's a bit mm. angry at her. Stick's angry at him, and he's angry at Stick because we both got <laughs> we recruited each other. He was nice with Karen Page, he was getting his life back on track, but now she's, no, she's pissed, at, pissed him. at him. Wow, it's, it's a it's tough awkward, life as a hero, isn't it? <laughs> trying to do the good thing, trying to be the nice guy. Uh, so that was that was that was good, man. But after, yeah, so like it was kind of like three to four acts of the season. That's mm. like a breakdown of the second. And um, so after you've had the discussion with with uh, Stick about what's been going on, he reluctantly agrees to join in, don't it? We're like, okay, we'll do we'll do what you need to do. We'll go and um, sort something out. So he still doesn't want to kill though. So don't want to kill. Mm -hmm. Sticks like fine, you don't need me to be here. We'll leave a lecture here to recuperate. Let's go on our mission. Let's try and end this once and for all. And then um, you go, I don't know where they go to. Is it a warehouse or like one of the main lairs? But it's where they meet up with Nobu. Now, you don't really know it's Nobu at first because you can't see his face, but he's doing the same ruse with his. Um, that chain with the fucking. On, on a, yeah, a little sword in the end of his chain, chain with the ball. And then obviously you've got all your ninjas there because obviously it's the hand. Mm. Uh, it's probably the hand is face, I think. Isn't it? And, uh, it so must have been. This is where they find the kids. Yeah, and that's where he helps, he helps them escape from that. Isn't and it? that's where Matt has a little realisation like, oh, this is one of the kids that obviously they were trying to use in season one. Yeah, to raise more plus killers and that. But I'm not going to let Stick kill him this time. I'm going to save him. So as he's trying to do that, and then um, he obviously takes him back to the hospital, isn't it, with yeah. Claire, where we see Rosario Dawson. <sighs> Another um, one. Yeah. Nightmares, <laughs> as, as you should say, and uh, yeah, so she's obviously sees Matt, knows Matt, obviously knows that he needs he needs help, so she brings the kids in. Looks and leave, like helps him again. We'll come up to the hospital. Like, yeah, this is also a nice little interaction between Claire and Matt as well, because Claire's obviously telling him that you're still doing your thing. Okay, I appreciate it, but don't want to be involved. In yeah, especially what's been going on with Punisher. Yeah. Like you don't come in turning into that guy. Obviously, they're no longer a couple anymore, but it's still with mm. the feelings. And so, yeah, when it was, I, I, I really love Rosario Dawson, especially her character as well, Claire Temple. She's got a really good, strong character arc and core base yeah. values to she can She can handle the self, but yeah. what, you know what you get from when you're on screen. There's yeah. no trying to figure her out. Mm. She's straightforward. Like straightforward, easy to figure out, easy to relate to. Just get this another flawless performance by her, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, so she's winning tests point. on all these kids with the blood work and that. You see their ninjas trying to uh, like climb up, climb up the building on the roof, trying to mm -hmm. come in to, to kidnap the kids. Matt realises this because obviously Daredevil, he's got the senses. Because uh, these kids are freaky, man. These are like, 
Re- really freaky, but never like stood up like, in a room. Type like, shit, man. <laughs> just yeah, like freaky ass kids. Like cult of the corn type yeah. of random stuff, man. Children of the corn. Um, so yeah, he's been getting kind of overrun with all the ninjas trying to take all six kids. So obviously, the kids are pretty powerful as well, aren't they, man? Like, mm-hmm. You don't want to fuck with them. Um, they kill Rosario's friend, like one of the other nurses. They're about to throw throw Rosario off the roof. Yeah. Um, which Daredevil then jumps and catches her and saves her in it. In doing so, gives the um the hand a reason or an, an excuse and a gap and an opening to then bring the kids back okay. to what they need them for, which we find out later on. So um this is where I think Matt follows them back, doesn't he? And you have the the confrontation between Electra and Stick. Because yeah. Electra then turns up in That's it. when they start fighting Electra and Stick. Yeah, yeah. I like that fight as well, man. Like again the master versus student student fight and uh, it's just like again it like, looks out like um as, as good as like Electra was like, fighting stick is like easy like, with an old guy with just like that one stick and that he's like even more stronger and better than Electra. He taught her. I know but I was just thinking like it has to be some way to like um just let stick miss a step or something like that but I know I know like as a, as a teacher he knows every single thing that yeah. Electra knows. But then would stick like in this in this situation Electra's probably gonna go for a kill so there's yeah. no holding back whereas stick probably don't want to kill her because he still needs her mm. so that could be the only she would need though, to like, killing. If, yeah. technical wise he's, he's got her under control yeah okay that's my like moment um and then when the, yeah then daredevil comes comes back and like stops the um fix of the fact between them two <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's not a love triangle yeah it's, it's like <laughs> it's a fa- it's, it's a mad family things, triangle it's yeah. like boyfriend and girlfriend but it's also brother and sister to dad yeah yeah man like just looked in kids when trying to fight over like he wants to last the pin. Yeah, just having an argument about their own man. views and ideologies mm. and but they all need each other in the end yeah. for, for the good cause, but no of them seem to be common mm. sense and just uh, swallow the pride to carry on. And, and then like, they are all surrounded by the hand and Nobu. But Nobu mm. changes the game, man, like left turn. I was like, what, what what's going on? The guy just bows down. I didn't get that at all. So still, even to this, even to, like, to now, I'm just not like, I don't understand it. And he bows down to Black Sky, yeah. who is Electra. Because obviously Electra is one of these children that mm. he saved back in the day. Like that's how Stick recruited her. But, so she was the original Black Sky. Ah, uh, like I was thinking like, why her, like, of all those kids and that, like, it could have been like, any you know, one of those kids that they, that they, um, she was like, she was, like, she was the one, wasn't she? She was the one. She was the one. Which is why Stick tried to quell and mm. change it from off. He didn't want to kill her as a youngster, but I can train you for it to be good for the fight against evil. But he never actually told her what she was for, so she didn't know. So then, obviously, that's why she realises all this bloodlust she's been having and why she would kill, because it's yeah. just in her. She couldn't change it. She couldn't change it. She couldn't, like, help, help who she is. So She's got the power. Yeah. So then she's, she's also kind of smart and manipulative as well, because I think she kind of accepts... She could accept it because she could use that power good like she then takes over the hand mm. and becomes the leader but I she think has to do they have to do what she says and if she yeah. says right we're not married i'm going to be a bit more good and just kill everyone it could she work could have thought, yes because she could have been like being good because like um might try to convince her like look we can do this like we can't you don't have to kill just like she was with the punisher and it's like let's be together no no killing at all whatsoever and it, for, for a second there it looked like it she might like um not kill and be good but then like all of a sudden like you said no vehicle shows up, bows to her, and like then she realizes who she is, mm. and who she's got to be. Who she, who, could, she, yeah. who she could but, be. But you've got Matt in her ear, and mm-hmm. they're all there talking to her like, "This, this isn't you. You don't have to do this." I mean, I know you. she's torn. She's torn. She's between torn there, man. She's got a decision then now, what to make. Um, so we'll put a pin in that for a second mm. and switch to the tertiary storyline and bring back the Punisher because the last time we met him or seen him, he'd just been dropped off at the cops by um, Daredevil after yeah. their big fight down from the Irish gangs and um, so he's now been arrested he's going to have to try go to court for um, everything that's been going yeah. on so this is where like Matt not Matt sorry this is where Foggy, Foggy. and Karen because Karen's been having a nice little interest in Punisher because she's been doing some research on his case yeah so she like she him showing like a bit of like um, sympathy for him so she, he cares maybe like how that's why Punisher opens up a bit like more. a killer of a heart. Yeah. Karen can see that. She's kind of gone through that turmoil in season one. She thinks he's innocent. Mm. So she's then doing some research with her ties at the newspaper where mm. she's now overtaking a role from Ben Yorick. And she's digged into like the killing of Frank's family and what's yeah. going on and how it seemed a bit dodgy and how Frank's got maybe a legitimate court case of Herb and Foggy 
I'm appealing for him and trying to get like a, a, a well, they'll say they'll give him a death penalty, but like trying to like get get the case get or, or get the charge lowered at least. Mm. And they're going good. I mean, Foggy yeah, this is steps up to the plate as well because obviously Team Matt's Foggy. busy at the moment. Team he's Foggy, dealing man. with yeah. the lecture and his pussy whips and the hands yeah. and all that. So <laughs> Foggy steps up. He does his opening speech. Yeah, Team. You know, tell you what, like, I know I slated him in the last video, Foggy. Yeah, but I've got to tell you now, man, Foggy. You're back in a good box now, man. This, this, is, this like, is what I'm on. And character arc, like usually, you'd only focus this season on your main three guys. You'd have Punisher, Matt, and you'd have Electro, mm. and everyone else would forget forgetting about. But no, no, they carried on building Foggy's arc about how he has to step up and no longer be Matt's sidekick, but yeah. also an equal contributor. Karen's just growing and growing from a victim to a killer yeah. to a to newspaper like to like Frank's sidekick. So <sighs> the show's I can't walk. so good, man. So I can't wait for season three, but it's talking about this now. I can't wait for season three. So they, they look like they're going to do really good with the case and get not, not him off, but do really well for Punisher. But yeah. then I think Matt does manage to turn up for, for one of the cases because he overheard the cop speak to, to Frank in it about if you do something, then we'll get you. I, I can't remember what he says, but it's along the lines of like act up in court so that we can take you away now and we can. Yeah, because they yeah, could try to get him to like um, admit to um, well admit to having like that PTSD yeah. in court and that, but then like it all, <coughs> it all backfires. He's handling because, himself, yeah. but then once he, he Frank realized, oh, if I do something that you tell me now, I, you could lead me to maybe the guy that I yeah. need to kill. So he acts up, he plays it. And Matt's like, oh, what are you doing? You're just ruining a fucking mm. court case. But he heard someone whisper, so he knows what's really going on. Yeah. So that's why he's got off and done his own thing. So and um, punishes now being in escorted prison. back to prison. He gets there. And he gets introduced to the Don Pin. Vincent D'Onofrio, the man from last season one, he was he yeah, stole man. it. He had an impact like Punisher had this season. So you get both of them on the screen. I was, I was thinking that as Burnfall well. Fall and Vincent D'Onofrio face to face monologue. <sighs> you know it's going to be good, man. Just them two, no matter like what their situation is in that scene, you know that the man is going to be so good. Mm. Them two. And then just that introduction between them two when they're talking about um what was it, he wants to try and get him get him, get someone else killed because he knew who killed his family or who gave the order to kill his family. Yeah. And but like, I mean before that, I mean like the way Punisher gets introduced to Kingpin is like Kingpin gets like Punisher escorted to him in the in the gym yard, isn't it? Yeah, because he's got like he's, he's got, got like control, in, yeah, he's got control of the whole fucking of the jail. Or at yeah. least like his um his wing in it. Because they call the other wing. Was it the end of last season or was it this season where he gets the kingpin moniker because the guy in prison comes up to him and says i know who you are in the streets but in here i'm the kingpin and then you realize the kingpin is like okay because when i heard that i kind of geeked out i think it might have been a little glimpse know. this season but i'm not too sure so obviously that's where you realize and then um, mm. that's when he's like don't don't nip into vanessa's money because he had to use all his yeah. money to, to make Work. to become no, kingpin in prison. Yeah. I, yeah so obviously he's running things in prison so he can orchestrate stuff like that so they have their conversation and Kingpin expresses or explains how you can't even do me a favour by taking care of all my competition on the outside mm. I appreciate that and so thank you I'm going to let you know who the real person was that set up and killed your family well, yeah. he's in prison here you go and kill him for me I'd appreciate it <laughs> so Punisher kind of thinks and kind of knows he's being played but he kind of thinks there's a bit of truth to it yeah. as well because obviously he's, as a all these people he's been killing he's not been getting answers you know to who 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 and what so happened even if he kills so he's been killed, even if it, if it's a lie and he kills many but it's not going to make a difference so no so obviously he gets gets let so in by the guys him, into the yeah. cell he goes up meets the guys about to kill him he's about to beat him up then you have the conversation or he's asking him the questions mm. like why who did it blah 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 and it's like oh yeah we were there that day blah 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 i was part of that crime family it was all the stage, it was all set up by the cops, like as a bus, and stuff like that. And you're like, whoa. That's random, man. I was expecting that, but like, it was good, there was a bus. I thought it was going to say there's something like him, it said drugs too that went wrong, and that was it. And that's what it was set up to look like, yeah. innit? But like, um, it was night, it was a bus, it was a bus. Even like, deeper, you know, so it had like another layer to the story. Government man. connections to mm. it, so you're thinking, hmm, okay, conspiracy theory here. That plays out really well in Punisher season, so. You can oh. put a pin in that for now, you're on this way, but <laughs> more will get explained when, when you come to that. So um, we're there now, and he, he kills him anyway, doesn't he? I'm pretty, yeah. pretty sure. Stabs him up and that. like, fuck it, you were still there. And he gets to the job, he tries to get out of the night, like, Wilson's a He's done his job. Him. He's like, right, yeah, guys, let me out. Yeah, Kingpin says, I'm going now. They're like, nope, 
He looks up, sees Kingpin just watching yeah. above, and hands behind his back as well, like a proper boss. He's like, thank now, you very much, but um, I think our partnership ends here now. <laughs> Do you think, wow. The screw's more of a... So they went to Brazil, come on, well, all the, all the other... This was like the next out. other... I don't know if it was a one-shot. No, it wasn't a one-shot, but it was, it was this like was a, the a other proper sick fight scene. This was hallway fight in the MCU Netflix series, and Punisher went visceral, man. we got to have these in the film. Yeah, viscerated the guys. Scenes. It was one against... Because obviously, he killed the guy. So yeah, they kill two guys in that in that one in that one, one cell, cell. and then all the gates get let open. Yeah. Then obviously we all see the, the bodies. He, in that. he was obviously running a gang mm. or a crew in prison. So when everyone gets out, they go in, they look in like, "Yo, you just killed my the leader, mate." Mm. No, we're not having that. So they're like, "All leave the cells." So there's like say ten cells, two people in it, mm. two already dead. So there's like eighteen people coming at him. And guy goes just <laughs> one time, one time, chucking <laughs> people up as well with the, the, the shanks. Shank. It's, it's all the blood over Frank's face mm. just looking like an absolute beast and a monster you're like wow, wow. it's intense that was like oh that's the highlight obviously you had Daredevil's fight against the bikers in the one shot but you also got like double dip you got you got double delight with this with this fight scene I can't wait for like the fight scenes in season 3 bro oh. yo, yo I can't wait as well man. raising it's the bar not November one. this year I think in yeah. November I'm thinking so you, you just had Jessica um, Luke 2 should be in June, so I'm thinking August, September, October, November. Daredevil mm-hmm. three, yeah, born again storyline. Mm. So um, obviously he had that fight, um, but then he managed then because that's happened. Like Kingpin's impressed. It's like you go outside, you go on the yeah. outside, and you can do this for me. I know you want to go and kill all the other gangs. That's your that you, that's your job. You're not working for me. That's what you want to do. I want that to happen so I can facilitate that. Mm. And you put him in like some SWAT outfit and now he wants to walk out the back door of the prison, mate. Guy Just was like in that, 10 man. for one Just day like and escaped. Oh, so now you've got the Punisher loose on the streets looking for vengeance. And I, I, was, I was so satisfied when like, he killed, um, was it that lady, that lady DA? Yeah, because she... I think... Diaz? Um, Diaz or Diaz? Diaz, Because yeah. I think she was the one in, who was in charge of that sting. Annoying as fuck, mm. corrupt. The fact that she remember the the guy from the first episode that survived the Punisher attack that was yeah. giving evidence. Grotto. Used him as um as bait, for bait like, to lure out Punisher. the Punisher. Yeah. Oh, bitch. I can't stand the bitch, man. Oh. And that's the fact that like, um, I loved how how going back to like when her and and um, Foggy first met in the um, in the police station, and then she tried to like and don't scare him, saying like, "Yo, man, you're you're you're." We can love him as that small time accepting bananas and that as payment. We'll, we'll, we'll crush you and that, then for you, this goal is like, yo, cut the shit, mate, the man, you're dealing with us, right? I know my legal this system. I know, you know, I'm, I'm a G around him as well, you know, because you're big time and shit, you know what I mean? Don't, don't think you push us around. Foggy. Team Foggy on this season, man. I know I don't know put in the last season, in the last video, yeah, but yo, I take it back, man. Foggy, you're a G. Got them cojones, yeah. Them cojones. But yeah, I was so happy when we got took out, man. Us. So happy when Reyes got took out. I had that of the season for me. Definitely. Not that, that annoyance, not just like snuffed yeah. out. It's always good when like a character you find annoying and then ends up getting yeah. snuffed and taking it. Um, so, tertiary character, Karen, she's also looking into like the storyline, which someone's not been liking, but it's, her storyline's led her now to some guy called Blackfoot, who apparently was yeah, behind. I don't that, this is why I don't remember that much right now. Yeah, this well, is like, he was behind the whole orchestration because he was like the CIA cop type of guy who would set things up. Okay. Who also turns out to be Frank's mentor or one of his former, um, you know, was superiors. That, was it like, well, that was, that was in the, in the um, in military and that, that guy with the, um, yeah. had his hand, his hand cut off or something like so that. So Karen's gone to meet him, not realising who it was, but then she sees the war photo and then she puts two and two together like, oh shit, this is actually the guy. Um, mm. Tries to like talk away out of it and bust out, but Blackfoot clocks kidnaps Karen. So obviously Punish is now gonna have to come and come and see him, isn't it? Him and yeah. Take him out. <clears throat> so this was I think the finale arc of Punisher for this season because mm-hmm. he goes and finds Blackfoot, he rescues Karen. He finds all them guns and that and that the um the vest but the proof what the vest was one with like the black it was black at first the, the skull outline and the it? skull outline the Punisher symbol mm. just like in season one by the end Matt had got his outfit Punisher's finally got his I did it this season and he's got his uh, bad boy van as well oh. so you're thinking yeah 
he then kills Blackfoot. His storylines done, resolved. He's had a nice little conversation and heart to heart with Karen. They've mm. got a bond and a backup. So Karen now is she's kind of like dipping her toes in both superheroes, man. <laughs> she kind of got with Mark. She's kind of got things to, to punish her. Like she, she she's likes right, danger, doesn't she? Get on it, man. Mm. Especially from where she started from the first season. Now she's like just moving a lot of monsters, but surely. Yeah, on she's also, on the she's radar, man. kind of. She, I don't think she's no longer the secretary for Foggy. Oh, no, Matt. No, but she's joined the. Um, she she can help now, whenever she wants. Yeah. She's got a relationship with him, but her main story and profession now is like she's like maybe an editor or yeah. a journalist. Yeah, taking kind, over from her. Not own. running the shows, but just under like management. But she's kind of got management in her pocket. Yeah, like the guy. So she's doing well. Punishes arcs finished. Foggy's, as you said, he's team, got that, team yeah. Fog this season. He's, um, he's stepped up to the, the plate. Back to Matt. Last time we left him, he was with Electra and Stick and Novi in the hand, with Electra trying to decide what she wants to do, whether she'll take up her birthright mantle of being Black Sky or mm. will she be the human good person that Matt's been trying to change her into being all these all these years. I, re- I really do believe when she wants to like, just not be the Black Sky. I think she was fighting it, but like yeah, well seat, she does because she she, yeah. she she turns no brew down, mm. and she's like, nah, my my love for Matt stronger than that. So then it's a but free too much. Yeah, it's too much of like of the hand down. But like, then it's a it's free on hundreds. How, yeah, how many fire against the hand. <laughs> Obviously, you have Daredevil and you have uh, Electra right, sure. fighting no brew in their main fight, mm. and then Sticks helping out of all the hands on the rooftop. Now this was a really good scene. And there was a lot of ninjas, but I would have liked there would have been tons more, like just crawling <laughs> up the rooftops, like crawling over ninjas to get just up onto the never ending hard, like hard more exactly. time on this. Exactly, like, never ending. But it was still good. I still felt the intensity of how many people were around them and the, the impending danger. But um, so they have a really good fight between the three of them, which is going on, um, especially because Nobu is kind of immortal. He came back from mm. death in the season one. Killed him this season, but he came back after the first fight when he rescued the kids. So is Nobu like? Because he came back, came back from the dead from the first season. Is he like a sort of like a black sky type character as well? Kind of. I mean, they've they've been trying to use this this all these things to call up the black sky in it, like the, all these kids' bloods. Yeah, it's kind so, of like a resurrection blood. Okay, so he so, so he was like one of the use... he was one of the kids that Nobu was like probably one of the kids. No, right. Okay. You you'll find this out in. Defenders or Iron Fist, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. Oh, like, if oh, I explain okay. it now, it don't make any sense to this season. Right, okay. And um, okay. it's all about Black Sky, but nobody's got something about him where he can keep coming back to life, um, unless you do something specific. Mm. Which after their fight on the rooftop, obviously Electra and Matt are kind of being worn down a bit. All the foot soldiers, Nobu, and Nobu's just about to, because Nobu's been mainly having his fight with Matt. Electra's there, but she's also taking care of the horde. And nobody's getting the, the better hand, and he's just about to do the killer blow on Daredevil. And Electra sacrifices herself. The, this is a moment where she truly chose her side. Like, not only she, she chose her side by fighting on the good side, but by sacrificing your life for someone you love. It's yeah. like, just steps that's in like the way the of the sword. That's like the ultimate sacrifice, like good, like someone could yeah. choose. Like, that's also like, gives, gives Matt pain and anguish and... Do you know, know the, the, rage, fight yeah, the rage to kill probably, the yeah. rage. Maybe not. Not, not to kill, but like it was, it was something that would put him over the edge to, to want to kill someone. Yeah. So obviously Matt and Electra have a little tender moment, which, which, which was good and nice. But this was this is why I realised there weren't a lot of ninjas on the roof. Obviously mm. been doing well, but if I'm part of this ninja group of a hundred people, trying to take these two people out, and one of them's dying, and they're having a tender moment in the round. I'm coming yeah. up on a straight away. You know what I'm saying? But for TV, obviously, I understood it. But after being you so that just like in that moment that off, man. of that fight, it kind of took me out of it a little. It's like the ultimate, that's like the best um, chance for them to strike, isn't it? Just like yeah. to take him out. With it's like, yeah, time out there to summon it. Mm-hmm. Let me have a little moment with Electra. She dies. Daredevil steps up like he's going to just kick some ass, but he'll be surrounded. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> like what? Man, like Frank. Frank okay. has popped up just to nice shot as well. Give a little like, tip of the hat, yeah, little wink to my like as well like, with the back from the time like nice shot of on the rooftop and the, uh, the white it out was well, a spray painted and score. So little it's bit been, of yeah, acknowledgement between it's them. Official. Like yeah, man. Like and I'm not, I know you won't kill, so I'll help you out here because mm. we don't want you to die because you do good as well. Obviously, the moment you just had with Electra dying in front of you, yeah, 
that then leaves him out with one and one with Nobu, kicks his ass, throws him off the roof. You think like Matt's killed him mm. again, finally. But no. Nah. <laughs> Nobu no steps chance. up, like eyes open, steps up like he's, he's all good, he's about to go, and then <laughs> stick. Headless. Just pops up like because he knows, man. Like he he understands the war. He understands what you've got to do. Who's the bad guy? Who to kill? How to kill him? To make. So he's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not just gonna throw him off a roof for bones to break or a net. I'm not just gonna stab him in his heart. Mm-hmm. I'm chopping off that head. There ain't no way you're coming back from that. No chance of coming no back. No done. Electra, dead. Stick. Won the war. Maybe, maybe. Daredevil. Heartache, a break again for mm-hmm. him, like. Karen, Electra, I think he's, I think he's like foggy. Yeah, he, he has to like go on now without all them people. Now he's on his own now. He's on his own. He's all alone now. He's kind of alienated um, Karen a bit. Alienated Foggy by not mm. being there all the time. But he knows that like, son anguish relationship with Stick. Yeah, he knows that if he like he, if he hangs out with Foggy, and that then that people might come after them to, to hurt him, and that's so all. Exactly. He'll learn that like, not to, you know, just, he knows that not to like having a close relationships at least. Especially Kingpin. Because Kingpin realizes who Daredevil is, isn't it? Yeah. And especially from the punch that he took in the last season, and like he, he knows, who he, like you said, like, I'm coming to take you down, Matt, and burn all of you. But hopefully, that's the born again storyline in season three. So we'll play that out when it comes to it. <laughs> um, this was pretty much the end of the season. Um, from Matt, we do we didn't have any post credits, but it was kind of like um a little future scenes of like see, what's to come yeah. you see Foggy being approached by Jerry Hogarth um, or the Bishop Trinity. yeah like do you want to come and work for us come and work for my firm we're one of the best biggest mm. in the world like and plus she, she's uh, got had like him some winners with some like, some special people as well like with, with uh, Jessica Jones and that special people yeah she, she gets a mention Jess. yeah she's obviously part of the criminal underworld as well because she's a shady lawyer so she knows a bit about the hand and mm. you know, stuff like she, I think like she's that. a wild card, like in a not in like a big way, but like she's a you know a game changer. I think she's a very prominent character in Jessica Jones season two. I think I need to get onto that as well. Season so yeah, well. kind of like how Karen was this season. Mm. Like she had a kind of a big role. Jerry has a big role in Jessica next season as well. Obviously, it's Jessica, then you've got Trish, but then. Jerry fills up that role not as a tertiary kind of almost a secondary character Ooh, okay. so that's, that's really good to look out for like she has a nice um, strong arc <laughs> you then switch to Punisher back at his gaff or, like, or his old family house finds the CD says micro on it I can't remember that either like, it's like one of the end scenes and he takes yeah. the CD it's got micro on it I don't think we get to see what's on it but that plays out in Punisher season and for anyone who's mm. seen the comics, you know who Micro is. Mm. Yeah. So mm. the final ending of the season is Electra's funeral. I um, think Daredevil's there in it with Stick. And Stick, yeah, he shows up. Karen as well. Accompanied Matt, did she? I don't think. I don't think so. Uh, unless like he, he, they were there, but not like um, with Matt. They were like Maybe. stuck on. On like um, a distance or something watching right oh that's afterwards but yeah so we see matt sees electra buried then he because he has this conversation with karen where he, he tells her he's daredevil yeah but i don't know whether that was at the funeral or was that oh no nah, that was like that was um, when um karen was at the office the, uh, nelson made so after the funeral, stuff. he gets he goes yeah. back and, and he goes he like got something to tell you pulls the, the helmet out of the bag i'm daredevil and then um Right at the very end, I think we should like. I think I we think it was a post credit scene. You see, like that um, that tomb. Yeah, because like the, the, um, the obviously the funeral, there was nobody in the yeah, in nobody in the casket. In the casket, the hand had taken Electra's body, mm. and put her in that tomb. And, uh, and, and she they've got the all sky. the she's the black sky. They've got all the blood from the young kids needed to uh, to resurrect her as Black Sky. Mm. So look forward so, to the uh, defenders. I want to see more of this season. Um, there's so much what I see man. Like, this Punisher season, after seeing Burned Out in like in in this. Like your your favourite systems and opinions could change, but for me mm. it's been Daredevil season two, just under Punisher, just mm. under Daredevil one, and then 
action or storylines, you could throw Jessica Jones in there and Luke then defenders then Iron. But they're I'm all not starting Luke yet, but I plan on starting it really soon. That is so. next, yeah. Speaking of Luke, that will be our next video review, which will be coming up next month for you all to do. I know JD will be starting that soon mm. after we did the fiending from Daredevil season two and the little snippets of uh, Jessica Jones. I'm pretty sure Jess might pop up in Luke. I know oh, I might go back and revisit it as well, but it's a really good season. I think she will, because like, especially Luke popped up in uh, just one of it. So watch out for Misty Knight. Look out for Mahershala Ali as well playing Cottonmouth. Mm. Really good season. But that's our Daredevil season two wrap up. Highlights, lowlights of the season. Just before we go. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the, the dialogue between or the monologue between um, Frank and Matt. Frank and, and Matt and the rooftop. Obviously, obviously, I mean, it goes back to saying the the one shot fight scene. Yeah, the, the, Matt the, versus the, the bikers. bikers. The visceral um, carnage and brutal yeah. beatdown and killings of oh. Frank in the prison, working and, for D'Onofrio. And also the... Um, the interaction with Kingpin and, yeah, and, and Punisher. But, and also the, the, in the torture scene with um, Frank and the, the Irish as well. I did yeah. like that, that bit. I'm going to kill the dark. <laughs> I can like that bit. So yeah. those are my highlights. All of you do. All, all of the same and above, mm. man. I think the actual one shot and the fight, the two fight scenes were... but. The monologue on the roof with the yeah. exchange of ideologies and God, also the the conversation of power and manipulation between Punisher and Kingpin. That could have been like um, I know I've seen some TV shows where like um, that's like a whole episode of just like the monologue between those like, two people. I could watch it. I could watch that like a whole season episode of that. Or that, whole season of that. that. That's how good it was in not seeing it. So um, yeah, obviously Shout out you, to were, it. you were team Foggy. Yeah. Um, I did like the introduction of uh, Electra as well. This kind of set the formula for most Marvel shows where they split the season up into two arcs, like the Punisher arc and mm-hmm. the Electra arc, because technically most of these shows could work with eight, as you find out with the Defenders, but the fact you have 13 kind of puts it into like a six and a seven. Right, okay. You'll see that with Luke Cage um, next season. But I am, um, yeah, really love this season. I wasn't necessarily Team Fogger. He grew on me a lot more, Yeah. as did Karen. Um, she wasn't as annoying as last season. I've kind of just gotten over with killing Wesley. Really? The only thing, yeah, I'm forgiving her for that now. I let that go, right? But well, I don't she's think that, that um that she's annoyed still me annoying that, in scenes, yeah. though, man. The, 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 the part where like um Frank's in the hospital and goes, look at this photo, look at this one. You don't, don't you care about them? I'm like, cheeky bitch. You broke into the man's house to get that photo, and they ruined it in my face, like. So that's the only thing that that annoyed me about Karen. Like, you like her growth, but she's yeah. always annoying things. Yeah. But as as, as an outside things, observer, you can you can see that. Yeah, but it's cool, man. I like Carol, Karen. Like yeah. Sweet. So that was our Daredevil season two review. We'll have Luke uh, Cage season one up for you next. Um, please check out our previous videos, Daredevil season one and Jessica Jones season one, if you're not already caught up. Um, check out JD Virtue's channel on YouTube. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Post all your comments, positive, negative, in the comment section below. Any more requests you'd like us to do, or any theories you'd have on this season or what's to come. No spoilers for JD because obviously yeah. it's only up to this season. Don't say anything about any shows, man. Loud spoilers, yeah. man. Loud, just loud just uh, <coughs> hints. Hints like, oh, you might want to keep an eye out for this. You might want to keep an eye out for that. Mm. Make sure you don't uh, leave the cinema before the end of the cutscenes. As standard. <laughs> but, uh, cool, that, that shit goes that same one, you know what I mean? <laughs> D, JD, that double D team. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Deuce. Peace.